out of there. Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the banker. I know someone who owes the banker money. Senator Egidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene, I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location.
Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forley. I leave to be with my children and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Vittoria agli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini.